Hey everyone, I'm Mickey. Welcome back to Lace of Solutions, your number one DSD software. Today I'm going to give you three tips to condense a massive company file. So I've had a lot of customers lately where their company file continues to get very huge. Okay, and a huge company file means that it's very slow to run and it means that it starts having random crashes here and there. Not only this, but a huge company file can lead to a corrupt database where you will have to verify and rebuild the database over and over and over again to keep it up and running. So let me give you the three ways that you can condense your company file and get it down to size so that you can keep moving forward with your business and stop worrying about a slow QuickBooks. Let's get right into it. Point number one, the first thing that you can do is condense a company file utilizing the tool in QuickBooks. So number one, condense company file. Okay. Now this option, you'll find it in the file option or the file menu in QuickBooks. And when you click on it, there's two ways that you can condense the company file. The first way is you can just click condense transactions. Okay. And when you condense the transactions, basically what QuickBooks will do is it'll go into years prior to this one. It'll go to all the closed transactions and it'll remove the details and update the journal entry with just a dollar amount. So it'll remove all of the line items on the invoice, which will dramatically reduce the size of the company file. That's A. B is you can literally start the company file with no transactions again. So basically you can condense to zero is what I like to call it. When you condense to zero, this means that you'll get a company file that'll contain all your items, all your customers, all your pricing, everything, but it'll remove all of the history. You will have no accounts receivable, no open balances on the customer, so you'll have to put those in by hand. Okay, so these are the two things that you can do when condensing a company file. Now let's go to the pros and cons of each one. When you condense the transactions, sometimes the QuickBooks utility crashes. Other times when it finishes, it doesn't truly condense anything. You literally see a drop from two gigs to 1.8 gigs. So it's not even a massive drop or a significant enough drop to notice a difference. Um, and obviously the pros are, this is the built-in tool to QuickBooks, so it ensures that more than likely you're gonna have a positive experience. Now, pros and cons, when you condense to zero and you eliminate all your details, the pros obviously is that your company file at that point is as small as it can be. The con, right, is that you are basically removing all the account balances. So you have no balances to go off on. So you're gonna to have to revert back to that old company file or a backup that you made beforehand in order to see what your account balances are, which is a problem. So as you can tell, neither of these is the ideal scenario. What I would do first is try to condense the transactions. And if it works dramatically, congratulations, it works for you. If it doesn't, then I would move on to one of the following approaches. So number two is starting a new file. So I've got distributors that start a new file every single year. Every January 1st, they launch the company with a new file. Starting a new file entails transitioning your customers, your products, and your pricing from the old company to the new company, as well as the account balances. Now this is a tremendous amount of work, and in many ways it's the same thing as this right here. But what it does mean is that you get a brand new company file, whereas this one may still have some corrupt data or some old data causing issues, this is starting from scratch. This is the only approach that ensures you won't have any problems moving forward, okay? So approach number two, starting a new company file. Pros, you get to start from scratch, you won't have any problems for the foreseeable future. Cons is that you have to start all of your accounting from scratch, which is a tremendous amount of work, particularly when it comes to your receivables and payables. So that's approach number two. So far, we don't have an ideal approach, but let's go to approach number three, and this may be the ideal approach. Approach number three is there are some services out there that offer a super condense of the company file. Now you should only utilize this super condense, condense when the regular condense doesn't work. When you go and do a regular condense and it shrinks your file by 10 megabytes, now it's time to think about a super condense. A super condense is gonna take all the closed transactions from previous years and it's gonna wipe them, 
okay? And when I say it's gonna wipe them, I mean it's gonna eliminate them from the company file, decreasing the company by 50 to 80%, okay? Now there's a company online that's well known that does this. I'm gonna link them down in the description below. But this is a great option because you get to maintain your receivables, your customers, your products, your pricing, basically your core company file. You don't lose any information and you essentially get to start as if the company file had simply shrunken and you get all the functionality back in QuickBooks, meaning that the speed comes back and meaning that it eliminates those crashes that are giving you headaches. So this may be a consideration for you. But again, this involves constricting the existing company files. So you may be left over time with some of the same problems. Now, these are workarounds, right? All three are workarounds. The only real solution as you get to scale and you grow your business, the only real solution to eliminate these problems is approach number four, which is switching to another ERP. Okay, when you switch to an ERP, basically you're switching this QuickBooks database that gives so many problems to a reliable SQL database. This is a database that can handle millions and billions of records, right? A database that you can grow and scale with for the next five or 10 years. I made a video that contains the alternatives to QuickBooks that you may be able to switch to. I'll link that below in the description as well. Um, but in reality, this is the only true solution to this problem. Other than that, you're working with these three things over and over and over throughout the years in order to keep your business up and running. So anyways, I hope that that helped you kind of figure out what to do when your company file gets huge. Find the links in the description down below to look at more information. Either way, my goal is to bring you as much value as possible with videos as frequently as possible. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments. I'll answer personally. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you guys next video. Take care.